The British Army can deploy anywhere in the world quickly with skill and expertise. To achieve that level of skill and speed is no small task. It requires huge engineering and tech systems. In fact, a full third of the career opportunities and apprenticeships within the Army have an engineering, information systems or technology background. A career in the Army opens up a vast range of options. There are soldiers, officers, regulars and reserves. There are IT specialists, lawyers and, crucially, there are engineers. In fact, the Army is one of the country's biggest employers in the field and military engineering has a fundamental part to play in every phase of operations. Well, you can really push yourself and you can have a very prosperous career. Go to lots of brilliant countries, fabulous places and get some uh, absolutely brilliant qualifications which are recognised here and in civil industry. I definitely would recommend an engineering career within the Army. Uh, the reason being is you get paid to actually do the qualifications, whereas in civilian industry you would have to pay to go to university. Well this might be your idea of a typical Army exercise, but actually there's a huge amount of choice. And with 75 different trades available as career options, engineering accounts for around a third. With many school children opting out of science and technology subjects, the British Army aims to increase awareness of the opportunities available and to encourage the next generation. The Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers are just one corps within the Army which employs engineers from across the spectrum. Soldiers and officers employed within the RIMI are the technicians, mechanics and fabricators who repair, modify and maintain a huge array of Army equipment. So the Army is uh, one of the biggest employers of engineers. Um, I think uh, we, we employ uh, engineers and we develop them from grassroots. So we can take uh, uh, individuals and recruits from GCSE standard and develop them through a career progression path right up to degree level uh, and beyond. I would highly recommend a career uh, in the Army for any young engineer or any potential engineer. Uh, the, the way of life, the quality of life, the opportunity uh, for, for career progression as well as self-development is absolutely huge. The Army says it has the largest apprenticeship programme in the country, with every recruit taking part and more than 5,500 completing their apprenticeship training each year. And though traditionally the Army was male-dominated, women are now serving with almost every unit in a wide variety of roles. The number of females in my trade has definitely increased in the, the 10 years I've been in the Army and it, it keeps increasing and to be honest you're treated as an equal anyway within the Army, it doesn't make a difference what, uh, whether you're a female or a male. Reservists can join for a part-time paid commitment but can complete the same courses as their regular counterparts. They give us a civilian accredited qualification uh, in mechanical engineering so um, I can make the most of it. Whether or not you have an engineering background, for those with a passion for understanding how things work, an army career can offer the perfect choice.